We're about to move the RV out of the garage and Daisy has not discovered that this is actually a vehicle. So her mind is going to be blown. She's using the vent hole. Welcome back to our channel guys. It's been a while since we've done an update. So we're gonna do a tour of what we've been working on. Hey guys, so like Bree said, uh, we've gotten a lot of work done on the camper lately. We haven't gotten too much filming done on it just because we've been busy with other projects and kind of cranking away on the work. Dad's been working on it a lot. So we'll just do a general walkthrough and uh, show you an update of where we're at in the build. And then we're about to finish up the interior ceiling panels and we'll get that done and hopefully finish that today and go from there. So since the last video, uh, you guys saw the installation of the marmoleum flooring. We've now got it covered up with some RAM board to just protect it with uh, the rest of the build going on. But big updates since the last video, as you can see, we've got the bathroom probably 90% done in here. So we have our shower pan with the Thetford toilet in place. We still have some uh, trim finishing to put up that's not all permanently installed yet. And we've got LED lighting. We've got these on dimmer switches in here. Uh, this will be your exhaust fan, obviously. And then we've got, this is a, like an FRP bathroom paneling available at your local hardware store or whatever. It's pretty nice stuff. It's kind of thin, but obviously it's all waterproof and everything. And everything will be sealed and caulked in the corners. And um, you see you got your faucets. This is a nice little, it's made by Dometic in wall toilet paper holder and obviously it's waterproof and then you have your uh, rod that the toilet paper goes on and it's even auto retracting you can see that in there and um that's pretty much it for the bathroom other than like i said the fan as you can see it is love bug season here in florida and they are all over the place and then next to the bathroom we have a closet going in that we added into the design. The camper did not originally have a closet here, so that'll be nice to have. And then obviously we'll have our plumbing and stuff going in here. As far as the door for the bathroom, not completely sure yet, but I'm thinking we're gonna use a retractable screen door. There's some nice ones that are made and they're super lightweight and that'll be there and you can pull the screen shut and it's like an opaque waterproof antibacterial plastic and then you know it slides back into its holder and all that so in addition to the bathroom we've got some work done on the over cab bed area as you can see it's framed out and the way we're doing this is we have all these cavities in the framing it's kind of hard to see with the lighting but these are all going to be storage here for whatever you need to do and we decided rather than having the separate piece here that opens and uh, closes for going in and out of your pass through. We're gonna do the entire bed platform as one piece. That way you have a more comfortable one piece mattress. And then that platform will be on some struts. And that will really help just be able to lift it all up. It will lift itself. So if you're wanting to exit the uh, cab into the coach with the struts helping, you should be able to lift the whole bed up with one or two easy pushes and then pass through. And like I said, you're gonna have all your storage under it and then you can lower it back down. And we'll probably cover all these with some type of this marine fabric here just to make it look all good. We did four small LEDs up here in your bed area. These will be on their own dedicated switch with a dimmer. And then you have this large vent here. I don't remember the exact measurements of it, but it's the same size as the original vent that was in this location in the camper before we ripped it apart. And this has a bug screen on it. So you open it up, you'll have your ventilation for whatever, look at the stars. And it also opens completely for uh, if you wanna crawl through it as an emergency exit. And I imagine we're also gonna have some storage up on the roof here. So that'll be a good spot to be able to crawl up onto the roof if need be or whatever. In the bed, we're going to have it just on some of these hinges here the platform and then probably have a, the pistons tucked over here here and then have your bed lift up lift down good times hey guys so continuing back to the rear of the camper I'm trying to get in the film here it's kind of hard with this camera I need a fisheye or something but you can see 
these partitions that go into the cab or the uh, dinette area they're not just there for aesthetics and to kind of give you a division of the rear dinette of the camper but let me see if I can show you here as you can see these are I think it's a three-quarter inch blonde plywood go all the way from the floor they're mounted all the way to the ceiling so that is giving your uh, ceiling there especially with the AC that will be right here um, a lot of structural integrity and strength to the roof being tied from ceiling to floor and to continue on with this rear dinette I'll show you a little more so here's a better shot of your partitions here matching on each side and you can see uh, obviously we've got most of the rear dinette framed out these are the original cushions that were in the camper when I got it these are just here for uh, getting a idea of the layout you can see everything there there's our flooring we put in that's not covered the marmoleum and uh, this is where the generator is going to sit that will obviously have its own dedicated insulated box there accessible from the outside and it'll be all insulated and everything to try to quiet it down and for a vapor barrier and everything this area here is pretty much going to be storage along with that corner here are your two fill nozzles for your uh, auxiliary and your main fuel tank those are also going to have a um, insulation vapor barrier built around them for smells and safety and all that stuff on this opening here is where the propane access door is and that also gets its own steel box that will be insulated and everything and that propane tank pretty much comes all the way to here and then if I remember right I think this in the original camper build was the water tank and um, that propane tank was actually moved a little further back but with the way we relocated those gas lines we moved it forward and now we have this area to work with I'm thinking this will probably be batteries that's not final yet we'll figure that out when we get there we've got a good amount of room to work with including that and uh, the bottom of the closet here you can see it comes our water fill lines are gonna come in and down that goes under the belly of the truck and into the 45 gallon insulated heated freshwater storage and here is going to be our kitchen sink area and that gives us all this area down here to work with for water pumps, uh, water filtration, cabinet space, that type of thing. Got your window, and then of course we're gonna have up here in all the corners will be cabinet, your cabinetry. Get it to focus here. There's Queso coming to say hi. Hey Queso, hi Queso. And uh, we're gonna have your cabinets up there. Those will also tie into this partition, the structural partition. So cabinet here, cabinet here. Um, we're still trying to figure out how we want to do back here. Maybe just a storage shelf. I don't think we're going to do a full cabinet back here because we don't want it to get too cramped in here. And now Daisy's coming to say hi. This is Daisy. We haven't fully introduced her to the channel yet, but she's our dog, our adventure dog that will be traveling with us in the camper. And she loves going for rides. Yeah, don't you? You like going for rides, huh? Yes. And uh, this is actually going to be probably Daisy's bed. And she's going to love it and be looking out and hanging out of these windows everywhere we go and having a grand old time. So where was I? Um, we're going to have a table here, obviously. I'm still trying to figure out how we want to do that table mount here in the center. And that's going to be able to either lower or whatever to turn this into a second bed um then we have up here is uh this is going to be the ac and then what you don't see right now because it hasn't been cut out yet is the fan is in the rear there and then we've got these i think they're like five point something inch uh, leds we have the one here we got another one that's here that you don't see one here and here those are pretty bright and they're also on a dimmer switch and then uh i don't know if i mentioned yet already there's going to be a fan back here that needs to be cut out i can probably show you here that's the fan cut out there that's just the top of the ceiling panel so speaking of ceiling panel that's where we're at right now we just did this one the other day this is a formica like a countertop laminate that was glued on with a contact adhesive 
and it's nice stuff it's strong it can put up with a lot and it's really light so we use the contact cement to put that straight onto the ceiling panel and we're going to finish that up here today we have two more sheets to measure out and put in and then um, just figure out what material we want to use to cover the seams of that we don't know if we want to just use a white molding cover or some type of wood that's going to match whatever we do for our countertops and all that and start trying to tie colors together and all that stuff and then we're going to have to choose colors for our fabrics and all that stuff and really start choosing the final finishing touches of the product so coming back around to this side i know i've talked about this before but here you're going to have a huge countertop and our oven will be here and then the rest will be all pretty much open cabinet space and underneath this side of the cabinet is where our refrigerator will be whatever we end up using probably one of the dometic style refrigerators and have that maybe pull out forward and be accessible or even have that part of the counter lift up if you want to access the refrigerator directly from above preferentially have both of those options and then we're going to continue cabinetry obviously from here all the way over to here and uh, under all those cabinets i'm going to put some more of those smaller leds that you saw we used in the overhead bunk area they're not super bright and initially we were going to use these leds for the main lighting in the truck but once we saw them in person they don't have a uh, an angle on the lens so it's really just a straight down projection of light which doesn't work too well and you need a whole lot of them to really light it up in here you can see that they are nice and they're nice and bright and they're gonna look good up here with the four of them and like i said on the dimmer switch and everything and then for the main lights here's what we ended up going with like i said these are like five point something inch and these do it's kind of hard to see but they have a, a uh, an angle on there and they just lock right in and they're much brighter larger compared to those you can see so between those and these it's gonna look nice um basically going over the lighting we got the four small ones up here that are going to be on their own dimmer switch for if you're in your bed area or whatever then we have four of them here in the bathroom that are going to be on their own dimmer switch and in the rear of the truck for the main lighting system we got one two three four and we're probably gonna we haven't figured out the layout of it yet to even everything out but put some um here in the front section of the truck probably with a switch over here or whatever for when you come into the truck at night, flip it on and light it up in here. Here's your shot of the rear framing of the dinette to see without the cushions in place. Nice and simple. And like I said, storage, storage, generator, fuel, propane, uh, batteries, whatever. Rear uh, outdoor shower here. Here's a shot of the rear of the truck because I'm not sure if I've shown it yet. But like I said, outdoor shower, lighting. You can see these are your two main frame rails here that our bumper will tie into. We're gonna custom design a bumper that will pretty much you know, be that of the truck. And we're gonna have brake lights and turn signals integrated into that lower bumper. And then also they'll be tied into your upper clearance lights. So your clearance lights will also double as uh, break or turn signal depending on how we wire those up just to recap on the exterior of the driver's side of the camper here rear fuel main and auxiliary fuel tank selector switch propane dinette window kitchen window water heater water fill power and your cassette toilet like I said, the door on this guy is not inserted yet, nor is it wired up. But that will, you know, you'll have your door that will open up. Here's your cassette. And that guy's going to come right out. It's got wheels on it. And you're free to go dump that in the vault toilet or wherever you need to. And uh, that saves you from having to find RV dump sites if you have a black dump take, which is definitely a pain. Then when you're done with emptying your cassette, I'm doing this all with one hand. Like I just loads right back in there. Now we got the second piece measured out of uh, the three ceiling pieces. So we're gonna get this cut out, adhesive this, adhesive to the ceiling, put her in place and move on to the third one.
All right guys, so that pretty much sums it up. I'll show you what we did here. Uh, we finished up the ceiling or the majority of it today. And obviously when we're uh, completely done with it, it'll get a lot of fine trim molding and stuff like that. You can see our rear panel, center, front panel. So yeah, that sums it up for this video. Thanks for watching. Hopefully there'll be uh, another video soon to follow after this one. I like the white ceiling. It turned out really nice. It's not as reflective as it looks in the picture here. It's more of a matte. But uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you liked the video. Take it easy, guys.